The world of video games have brought us so many great foods. There's the butterscotch pie from Undertale, the cake from Portal, the Seanwit from Splatoon. I have several questions. And most interestingly, the Sandwich from Team Fortress 2. And no, I did not mispronounce it. That's what it's actually called. It's canon. Debate over. But one thing that did get my head scratching is, why does Heavy like his sandwich so much? Then it hit me. He and the rest of the mercenaries bake their own bread. But does my observation hold any scrumpy? Let's whip up a loaf and find out. Now that make our wonder bread, we have to start off with the wet ingredients. I have here in this cup three quarters cup of water, and to that, let's add three quarters cup of milk. Okay, once it's combined, stick this in the microwave for... Actually, I don't know how long, it depends on your microwave, but basically, nuke it enough until it's about uh, 100 degrees-ish. Temperature-wise, it should feel nice and warm without actually causing any pain, even very minor pain. And it needs to be warm so we can activate the yeast. Speaking of yeast, let's add two tablespoons of sugar. Hey, we need to provide food for the yeast to bloom. Would you go into a restaurant that has no food in it? Of course not. Give that a nice mix. And finally, let's not add one, but two packets of yeast. Alright, combine this all together. Okay, it gives us a moment for the yeast to wake up. Alright, let's move on to the dry ingredients. Alright, to a mixing bowl with the paddle attachment, let's add three cups of all-purpose flour. If we're making bread, why not use bread flour? Well, bread flour is good if you want a nice crusty sourdough with a nice chewy pulley texture. White bread has a more softer crumb, so we don't need that much gluten, so all-purpose flour will do. All right, next, let's add two and a half teaspoons of salt. All right, let's add our yeast water milk mixture to our pot. Stir on low until it forms a ball. All right, once it's mostly mixed together, let's increase the speed gently. Okay, I'm not seeing any crumbly bits, so let's increase the speed to medium high. And we're gonna knead it in the bowl for a couple minutes. Okay, after a couple minutes, let's turn off the mixer. Try to untangle it from the hook. Oh, now I know what a Friday night looks like for James Charles' fingers. All right, next, take the bowl, cover it with a tea towel, and uh, let this rise in a warm place for about one to two hours. Okay, it's been two hours, but before we take care of our bread, let's take care of the bread pan. Now, of course, you can use your typical metal baking pan, or, for a bit of retro charm, use this 80s earthenware ceramic dish. Seriously, I remember cooking with this thing back in the 90s. Might even be older than that. Anyway, enough nostalgia. Let me tell you what you're supposed to do. So, spray it down with not stick spray. Dump in some flour, cover it in a tea towel, and shake the cover. And uh, I'll just dump any excess flour onto my countertop because we're going to roll out our dough. First thing we got to do, punch it down. Yeah. Oh man, left a nice imprint of my fist. All right, cover it in flour, make sure it doesn't stick to the surface. Next, grab a rolling pin and let's flatten it out. Oh, as you roll it out, make sure the width of the dough does not reach further than the length of the bread pan. I kind of screwed that last one up, but I'm not doing it another take. But it's about a quarter inch thickness. Let's roll it up nice and tightly and place it in our bread pan. 
Cover it with a tea towel yet again, and let this rise for 30 minutes to an hour. Then preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Did this guy destroy what's ever left of your currency? The number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. You see our bread has done rising and now it's ready to be placed in our oven. And let that bake for 45 minutes. How did the engineers in the field yeah. farm boy charm with a megaton? Okay, after 45 minutes, take our bread out of the oven. Let's remove it from our pan. Let that cool to room temperature. <laughs> all right, the bread's cooled down, and now the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to construct. I turned it the wrong way. And now it's the moment everyone has been waiting for. It's time we construct the sandwich. First things first, let's cut up two slices of our bread, uh, expected for two minutes first, and then smear on a nice layer of mayonnaise, and Heavy's meat of choice is ham. It's just ham! So we'll layer on three nice hearty slices, and layer on that famous cheese with the holes, Swiss, and finally some tomatoes, lettuce, in that order. Top it off with the last piece of bread, Slice it diagonally, and for some structural integrity, place down two toothpicks through the center and top them off with pimento olives. And bada boom, the TF2 sandwich. Will homemade bread make the difference? Let's- <laughs> Sandwich! Hey dude, what are you doing? That's my sandwich! No! No, it is my sandwich. Now give it back. This has been Jay's Cotton Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making quick fun, and meet you this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, dude, do you at least want to remove the toothpicks before you start chowing down? Man.